So our second entry that we're going to go through today is from the De La Hiva position. So I like this entrance because it stops them from being able to run away, put too much pressure onto you. So we're in the De La Hiva. Okay, the first thing I want to do is post off his knee to stop Kel coming into me. Or if he's trying to run away, I'm going to grip behind his knee and pull him in. So those are your two options, push or pull. This outside leg here is also being used as a push-pull management tool. So from here, I'm going to step off his leg with this outside leg, lift my hips up. This allows space for me to reach deep under his leg. From here, I'm going to take out the De La Hiva hook and I'm going to grip my own leg by squeezing in tight. So I'm curling my hamstring into his leg and I'm regripping my shin. From here, I can, depending on his reaction, if he pushes into me, I'll push off his knee. If he tries to run away, I'll clamp in tight and I'll regrip from behind the knee here. I'm also pushing and pulling with this outside leg and staying active. From here, I'm going to turn this knee into the same position we did before. So this knee is going to come inside my armpit and I'm always going to be curling my arm in tight to his leg. So I'm going to come in here. Notice how my body is almost 90 degrees to curl because if I try and do this from here, it's going to be a bit awkward, especially if your flexibility is not great. This will allow you to get that knee right down to the floor so you can put counter pressure by pulling and pushing your leg into his leg and regripping your hands here. From here, I'm going to swing this outside leg again all the way around and I'm going to shoot it through the back. Once I get to this position here, maintaining these grips tight, I'm going to drop the K guard leg out flat to the floor and I'm going to sit him down. Okay, so we're in the De La Hiva. So I'm using my outside leg to post up off his leg, create space so I can shoot my arm through for an underhook on his leg. From here, I'm going to clamp in, grip my shin, and I'm going to swing this leg all the way around the back. As I'm doing that, I'm dropping this leg inside my armpit, and I'm shooting this leg all the way through. From here, I'm going to take out the uh, K-guard leg, and I'm going to sit him down by kicking my leg flat and gripping my gable grip nice and tight 